What's up guys? Welcome back to Fancy Goldfish Fanatics. Today we're going to be looking at some absolutely top quality Ranchu, Aranda and Yun Bao. So make sure you stay tuned to find out more. Hey Fanatics family, welcome back. As always, check out those links in the description and make sure you check out our brand new Facebook page. If you look down in the description below or you search in Facebook, Fancy Goldfish Fanatics, our brand new Facebook page will come up where we're going to be posting all of our up-to-date information, all of our competitions, all of the information and all of our videos as well and it will be linked to our Facebook group. So in today's video we are going to be looking at some absolutely top quality, top class Ranchu, Aranda and Yan Bao. We're going to be having a look at the different body structures, the swimming patterns, the shape, the hood growth everything like that. We're going to be really critiquing all of these fish. Now, a lot of you guys really like the video we did on the Shogun Aranda and the Aranda in general. So I'm going to be doing exactly the same thing for the Ranchu. Now, this video has been originally made by Goldfish Farm, which is a YouTube channel. I'm going to put a link in the description down below to the original video so you can check it out from the original content creator. But I'm going to be slapping the video on the screen and we're going to be taking a look. So without further ado, let's get into it. First up, as you can see, we have this absolutely stunning Kirin Ranchu. Now, this is of absolute high quality, such a beautiful, gorgeous fish. You can see the reticulation on the scales, the fuckerin, which is the skin quality, and just the luster in those scales, really nice, deep Kirin quality. The same fish that you can see next is a Sakura fish, and both these fish have real nice bodies. You can really see the width of the back is nice and wide. They've got really good structure to them. They've got really nice when growth, when shape. And you can see from a high quality fish to a low quality fish, you can look at the width of the back, not just the curvature in the back, but also the width of the body and the width of the tail tube, that caudal peduncle area where the caudal fin meets the back, that curve as it drops down, we can see is really chunky and it shows that the fish is real high quality. Absolutely beautiful Kirin here. And Kirin refers to that metallic sort of bolt gun metal style color with a bit of orange in there, a bit of white. And generally it just refers to these colors. Next up, you can see we have this orange ranchu. Now this Orange Ranchu doesn't look similar to most Orange Ranchu. This actually looks like it might have a nacreous base to it. It has a kind of albino style look to it, but it doesn't have the albino eyes. And I think this is actually a Sakura. You can see that it's got the Ginrin scale patterns to it. And the Ginrin refers to those shiny scales. And now all of these fish that we have on the video here today are real high quality and great examples of what you can look for. Now, what comes with high quality is high maintenance. Now, generally, I find that the higher quality fish, the fish with the real round body shapes, similar to the ones on the screen now, with this sort of Chinese style ranchu, definitely succumb to water quality issues and parasite issues very quickly in comparison to your general pet shop grade fish. Now, these fish need, I would say, in my personal opinion, very regular water changes at least once a week and good warm water. These fish do not cope that well in cold water. If you can breed them and produce your own offspring, then you can adapt them to different water qualities and you can slowly tailor your bloodline into different environmental qualities. But I always find with the higher quality fish, they prefer warm water, ideally 22 degrees upwards. There are many keepers that keep them at 26, 28 degrees with no problems at all. Many people say goldfish are cold water fish. Well, they are not. They are temperate water fish. And these fish, especially the really high quality fish that we can see on these videos, do best in those slightly warmer waters. Now, there are quite a few hobbyists keeping them in slightly cooler waters and they are doing a great job at that. I would say these fish definitely thrive at the warmer temperatures, but there are no problem keeping them at the slightly lower temperatures if you want to experiment a little bit. You can see we've also got a stunning high quality aranda, potentially a rose tail or an orchid tail. You can see 
Generally, from the Ranchu to the Aranda, the quality is still remaining on the video. We can see they've got really nice depth to the body, really nice rounded tummy. There is no bumps or imperfections in the back curve. All of the fins suit the fish well. It has quite nice grace to it, especially these Arandas have real nice grace to them. And the smaller Ranchu have really small mini tails, which is the new trend. Now this one here doesn't have a super wen growth. And I would say this is more of a Thai style Ranchu. Although there are many blurred lines between the Chinese and the Thai Ranchus now, because of the imports and the transportation from one country to another, using different bloodlines, we start to see a merge between the two but generally on the high quality fish in the sort of trends that are going on now currently you're looking for a smaller tail a nice chunky when good growth under the chin and around the cheeks nice chubby cheeks really small pectoral fins you want the fish to be active alert and happy swimming around the tank just like this one is here and then the super high quality fish you'll see a little bit more depth in the body a little bit more of a rounder belly and a little bit more sharp back curve maybe a little hump behind the head on some of the older fish and a real nice width and girth to the fish as well really good quality peduncle or caudal peduncle you can see the fish with slightly more orange on it now is the higher quality fish it has more when shape more when growth and you can see that this fish here has a really beautiful when growth as the when is a whitish yellow color, you can see it's really more pronounced with the different vesicles and the curves and bumps throughout the when, really nice cheek area around the eyes and there isn't any when covering the eyes. We all, always want to be looking for when that's not covering the eyes too much because generally you can also have adverse problems where the when starts to cover the eyes and you need to intervene with surgery. Now we can also see here this absolutely beautiful young bow which is a cross between a ranchu and an aranda. It has much smaller fins as you'll see on this white one here. Really small mini tail just like the ranchu and it doesn't have that big flowing dorsal fin and caudal fin just like the arandas we saw early in the video there is a slight cross and i'm sure over the next decade we will see even more new varieties being produced but as you look at this fish here you can clearly see now the difference side by side from the young bow to the aranda the aranda generally has a slightly bigger body but mainly it's the fins it's the pectoral fins that are bigger the dorsal fin and the caudal fin the fish has a little bit more grace and when you look at this young bow on the video here you can see that it doesn't quite have the grace that those large orchid or rose tail arandas have to them and they really have a sort of presence about them in comparison to these but all of the fish we've had on the video here and all of these young bow you can see are of real high quality and of fish that you can sort of aspire to now there's absolutely nothing wrong with keeping general grade ranchu or aranda or fancy goldfish in general as you'll find these ones will also be a lot hardier a lot more forgiving as well and just overall nice and easy to keep if you want to sort of challenge yourself grow some really large fancy goldfish and really have a high quality collection that you desire and just enjoy then definitely go for some fish like this personally i would buy them a little bit smaller but each to their own some people do love to import the larger fish but they can have certain health problems and definitely suffer with swim bladder issues so that is something to look for high quality ranchu especially you want to make sure they have a really nice swimming pattern you don't you want, don't want to see any buoyancy issues you don't want to see the fish sitting too low in the water or too high you want to see active alert swimming around the tank generally buoyancy issues can develop with poor diet and generally just the genetics of the fish so if you are having a genetic problem with buoyancy issues there is little to nothing you can do about it so we always we want to prevent that from happening and make sure we're selecting a fish that has really nice swimming pattern especially and a really good active swimming motion in the water now we're just coming to the end of the videos here and we've got this lovely aranda on the screen and we're just coming to the end of the high quality fish that we've seen on this video but hopefully you've seen a selection of really nice quality aranda and ranchu and young bao throughout the video and what sort of quality traits to look for whether it be the mini tail in the ranchu or the nice curved back or in the aranda and the young bao nice deep bodies really good formed when over the face 
or just swimming pattern in general. Hopefully you've enjoyed seeing these high quality fish just as everyone hopefully does because I really enjoy looking at them. Absolutely beautiful fish. And this is the end of our footage. So I'm just gonna wrap up the video. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I thought there were some absolutely stunning fish on the video today and I would have absolutely loved to have any of them in my tank at home. Absolutely enjoyed seeing the high quality, real showpiece special fish that we had on the video. If you wanna see some more videos just like this one, then leave a comment down below or if you even want to, you can leave a link down below to any videos that you want me to react to or any videos you'd like me to do tank tours on or rate my tank, etc. And also, if you want to have your fish or your system featured on the channel you can pop me an email at fancygoldfishfanatics at gmail.com or go in the link in the description and you can send me a picture or some videos of your tank or if you're not sure what to send then just pop me an email and I can let you know what would be great to get your stuff on the channel basically so that is the end of the video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. If you've got any questions, comments or queries, let me know down below. As always, thank you all for watching. Remember to keep those water changes up and happy fish keeping.